If you have gotten the PageSpeed Insight recommendation to avoid enormous network payloads, this video will show you the eight techniques that you can implement to fix it today. Now, before we get into those eight techniques, let's first go over what this message means. The avoid enormous network payloads warning means that your page size is too large than the size recommended by Google. And in case you didn't know, heavier pages are much slower to render the content because there's so much more data that has to be downloaded. And to be specific, this message will be triggered when the total page size is over 1600 kilobytes. And in order to pass the audio you will need to reduce the page size and aim to keep your total byte size below 1.6 megabytes. Now, to identify the issues causing this message, PageSpeed Insights will flag which file types need the attention and where the file is being served from. Now, it's super important that you get these fixed as enormous network payload impacts the performance of your WordPress site on four levels. First, it affects the loading time. The higher the network payload, the larger the page is which like we said earlier means that the longer it will take to download resources and render the page. Second, it affects the largest contentful paint grade. An enormous network payload will increase the time it takes to display the largest content to the user, which will result in a poor user experience. Third, it affects the overall page speed insight score, which is probably the reason as to why you're watching this video right now. And fourth, it affects conversions on mobile. Now, if you didn't know, most conversions occur on pages with load times between zero and two seconds. So if your page takes longer than that to load, well, you're gonna have less conversions. So now that you know the impacts, here are our eight easy ways to keep your payload size down. First is to implement browser caching and gzip compression. Now, using an efficient browser caching policy will help you to reduce the enormous network payloads. And while there are manual ways to do this that we cover more in depth in the article we wrote about the subject, the easiest way to do this is with our plugin, WP Rocket. Second is to remove the unused CSS. And the reason you want to do this is because you should prevent unused CSS from loading on your website as it's not needed. If you're using a page builder like Elementor or Divi, they tend to add a lot of useless code, which results in a heavier page and a higher network payload. As again, there is a more in-depth process for removing the unused CSS, but for the easiest solution and the headache-free solution, once again, our plugin WP Rocket can remove unused CSS in just one click. Third is to delay JavaScript execution and remove unused JavaScript. Now, this is because you can avoid enormous network payloads by simply prioritizing the JavaScript that needs to be loaded first. Now, to manually delay a JavaScript function call, you can use the set timeout function that we have on the screen right now. But if you guessed it for the easiest solution, WP Rocket allows you to fix this in just a few clicks once again. And if you want another plugin alternative, you could also use plugins like Flying Script or WP Meteor. Fourth is to minify JavaScript and CSS. If you didn't know, minification is the process of removing all unnecessary characters from the CSS or the JavaScript source without changing its functionality. Now to do this, you can use tools like Visual Studio, Xcode, NetBeans, Uglify.js, TopTal, or CleanCSS.com. Now, it should also be noted that whichever method you choose to use, there will be specific orders that you will have to follow when using those tools. And if you haven't guessed it by now, for the easiest solution, WP Rocket provides you the ability to minify multiple files of CSS and JavaScript with just a few clicks. And for other plugin alternatives, you could use Asset Cleanup or Altopimize. Fifth is lazy loading. Now, WP Rocket provides a lazy loading feature as well as we wrote an entire article dedicated to the best lazy loading plugins for WordPress, so that will be the easiest way to take care of that issue. Six is to optimize images and convert them to WebP. Now, heavy images are often the main culprit to an enormous network payload. And for online tools, you can use Photopea, TinyPNG, or compressor.io and the process for compression will be extremely easy using these tools. Now, if you want to both optimize your images as well as convert them to WebP, you could use a plugin like Imagify that will do it all for you. And if you're looking for more methods, we have articles on the best four WebP plugins for WordPress and the best image compression plugins that you can find linked in the description below. Tip number seven is to use fewer fonts and optimize them. Manually, if you want to achieve this, this is what you can do. Don't use a large panel of font family weights, icons, and emojis. Host fonts locally. Use browser resources and other tags, such as preload, preconnect, and prefetch. 
And lastly, add the font display. Swap to the request to ensure text remains visible during web font load. Or if you haven't guessed it once yet, you can use our plugin WP Rocket to also optimize all your fonts. Tip number eight is to remove unnecessary content, widgets, and plugins. This will help you reduce the page's size and therefore will reduce the network payload. An example of the content you can reduce can be the number of sliders, galleries, and social widgets. Now, if you're unsure what resources might be slowing down your site, you can use plugins like Query Monitor and WP Hive to identify those resources that you will need to get rid of. And that's all of our eight best tips to avoid enormous network payloads. And if you're also struggling with other page speed insights messages and not only avoid enormous network payloads, check out our whole playlist dedicated to fixing each single topic for you. Goodbye and have a good day.